Okay, Bolo Buddies, we are going to go to some garage sales. Check out what I found. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, so went to this garage sale and I did pick up this little toy story blanket. Um, I put that one only on Mercari. I just feel like it's going to do better on that platform. And I did find this little plush right here. And I picked that up as I was leaving. So I don't think I have any footage of that, but I was surprised at. The, uh, the comps for that, the sold listings. I remember I bought that little spoon set last year and it sold really quick. So I probably should have picked it up again this year, but I didn't, I left it behind. All right, I'm checking out some jewelry here. I always look at the costume jewelry. Usually um, they'll have little tags on them that will be signed with the maker, the maker's mark, and you can look them up that way. I did find some animated items here. I always pick these up. I've got this Dracula. It's by Tiffany or something like that. Never heard of it before. Paid $3 for this. Tested and working. That is available in my eBay store. I also picked this up. I would have priced it higher, but it's not really working great. So I just put in the listing that um, details and then I added a video to my description to show people how it works. People can definitely still use that as a Halloween prop and they may be able to fix it. It may just be a little bit jammed up. So looking through all these plastic bags, hoping to find a little treasure, but did not find anything. I know a lot of people pick up curling irons and different hair accessories like that. I have not sold any curling irons. Maybe I should have looked those up. If anybody has any expertise on those, feel free to drop that info in the comments. And I think those are batteries. I have no idea why I did not pick those up for $5. Um, I am testing toys all the time. So that would have been fantastic and a great deal. Last year, I believe I got Christopher Radko ornaments here, but I was not so lucky this year. Um, there is one little um, nativity. I almost picked it up, but decided to leave it behind. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. I typically always pick up nativities. This was like a children's uh, wooden nativity. For some reason, I didn't grab it, but had it in my hand and I thought about it. Um, there was a really nice um, set of, you can kind of see it back there. I'm trying to think what that Disney character's name is right there. Uh, Milo, or is it Milo and Stitch? I can't remember, but it was a whole complete play set, stuffed animals. But uh, they had it priced kind of high. And when I comped it out, I decided to leave it behind. But if it was cheaper, it definitely would have been a good pickup. I did pick up these Stepping Stone DVDs. Some of these individually can do pretty well. I decided to just sell them as a lot. And I want to say I paid like five bucks for all of them, if I remember correctly. Just got those listed the other day. All right, so we are at the next sale here. I have no idea what that was. I don't know if it's pajamas or... I did find this super cool plush right here. I always pick this guy up. Um, I do very well with the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, that TV show that's on every year at Christmas. You guys probably watched it when you were a kid. Um, I always pick up characters from that movie. And I think that was like Bumble or something like that. Bumble the snowman. I don't know. It was on his scarf. Now, I'm kind of kicking myself for some of the things at this sale that I did not pick up. Um, there is a whole section of, well, we're going to get to it here in a second, Halloween items. And none of them were the masks that I know are big money. So I left them behind. But as I'm watching this back, it looks like most of them were priced at $2. And I probably definitely could have flipped them for a profit. I do have a video coming out on Halloween masks. I'm not sure if this will be released first 
or that will be released. But if it has not posted yet, definitely be on the lookout for that coming soon. And it, if it may have posted already, I'm not sure. I thought about getting this. It did have some damage on it. Let me know if you guys would have picked this up. It's wool, and I believe it was the brand Woolrich. Okay, I picked these up. I don't know if I'm going to be as lucky as where Pigs Fly Farm was, but check this out. Hello, my name is Cindy. I'm the owner of the Where Pigs Fly Farm out in Lynn, Missouri. We are a farm animal rescue here, and to help us pay the bills, we actually sell things on eBay, things that we purchased at uh, auctions. I purchased storage units, and then some things we have donated. My uh, bolo this month was a uh, uh, very unexpected. A lot of times when I get things in, I'll throw the smalls into a box or into baggies, set them to the side, try to list my bigger things first, get them out of the way. Anyway, I ran across this, a little poker chip. Now I had seen on other bolo videos where poker chips could go for pretty decent money. I looked this one up, couldn't find it on eBay, found it on Worth Point. The last one sold for over $300. Put mine up for auction, and boom, it sold for over $400 to a collector. So keep your eyes open for uh, these poker chips. All right, so I walked up to another sale, and all of these items were sitting over in a box, and they were all free. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you everything that I got. Um, it's a bunch of ephemera, and some of it is pretty cool, but um, I unbox this or unbag it when I get home and show you guys everything that's there, so stay tuned for that. These Christmas lights, I did not grab. They were in the free box, but um, I did grab the ephemera, some pretty cool stuff. All right, mostly like car items. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see, what else did I grab here? Just kind of looking through, trying to figure out if there's anything else that I want to get. I do look for um, certain VHS and DVDs. I don't usually pick up electronics. Electronics, I don't like to ship them. I know that there can be money in electronics, but just really not, not my thing. All right. There were a bunch of these models, and if they would have been brand new and sealed, that would have been something to consider. But my concern is I do not want to have to figure out if all of the parts and the pieces are there. So I decided to leave those behind. Let me know in the comments, would you guys have grabbed those model kits? There were some cool uh, vintage items here for sure but the only thing I walked away with was the ephemera. Okay, we are at this sale right here, and I did pick up uh, a lot of these toys here. What I did is I just made a pile and I bundled. I have not listed any of the toys yet, haven't got to that. I actually uh, just reorganized all of my inventory these right here, I cannot think of what they're called, but I bought that whole bag. Haven't decided if I'm gonna sell them all together or part those out. I did grab these little figurines. Um, I'm thinking about bringing these to whatnot. Not 100% sure yet. I also grabbed all of these. I think they're some sort of carved stone. So again, not sure what I'm gonna do with those yet. Those may go to whatnot. If you're not following me on whatnot, it is Bolo Buddies over there. I do have a link down in the description. And if you're not already on whatnot, you can use that link and you'll get a $10 credit to shop, which is fantastic. Um, free money, right? And it is a referral link, so they give me a credit as well. So I would appreciate it greatly if you guys use my link. All right, so I'm kind of digging here through the plush. You guys know I love finding plush. Um... I'm trying to remember if I grabbed anything. Oh, I probably should have grabbed that little guy. I think he was a Nintendo guy. Some of those can do pretty good. I'm like, let me see in there again. All right, I know that I did get a few things here. I do check out the games. I'm looking for anything that I know is big money right off the bat. I do look things up from time to time. And sometimes... 
I end up getting games and they're incomplete, so I will part them out. So you will see things in my what sold videos where I have parted things out. Here is a good example of something that I parted out. This is, um, it's a mega block set. It is vintage and I should do pretty well with it by the time I get everything sold. Lincoln Logs, I did not pick those up. There was some really nice, cool items. Probably should have picked more of it up. I always look back and think that. I did pick this up and this already sold. I ended up paying $3 for that. Uh, anytime you can find those McDonald's Transformers, they are a good pickup for sure. All right. I did pick that little guy up. I have not listed him yet. He is a Wilton vintage cake topper and he's like a hunter. So I'm, I'm guessing it'll probably be a bread and butter. Most of the items I've gotten listed, but like I said, I was reorganizing everything and stuff got tossed into totes and moved around and I tried to get everything from the video listed before I uh, did the recording here, but um, most of it's listed. I like to keep these educational for you guys and let you know what I'm listing and sometimes things have sold by the time I post the video and get the voiceover going, but sometimes... I literally just listed them before I did the voiceover, so. All right. I don't know what those were. If those were vintage, maybe those would have been a good pickup. I looked at the tag, so I'm guessing maybe they were not if I left them behind. If you ever find a Vanity Fair, that's a good brand of uh, slips or nightgowns to pick up. They can do well. I do have a video that talks about vintage lingerie to pick up to bolo for and different things to look for when you're searching for those items. It is an older video, but a lot of the information is still relevant. All right. I don't think there's anything else that I pick up. Okay, we're going to move on to the next sale here. And I find this little dollhouse. I did part that out and did not list the dollhouse in this bag. It was stuffed full of Fisher Price Loving Family dolls. Um, I think there were some other items down in there, but that's all I could remember. And I didn't show the entire bag. So um, this here. She did work with me on price. I can't remember what I got it for, but these were the two main figures that I was looking for out of that bag. They are play school figures. These are the Polly Pocket Princess with the rubber dresses. I do have them priced a little bit high. Uh, probably take a best offer on those, but um, it just really depends on what people are looking for. And there was a nice variety of dolls and extra outfits there. Checking out the toy table. You guys know I love toys. I can't remember if I bought that. If I did, I have not got to that bag to list anything yet. Um, a lot of times I get home and I just throw stuff to the side and then it gets all mixed up. I did check the car tote. Um, I'm looking for like a Blaze and the Monster Machine or, you know, characters that stand out that um, are popular that I know sell. These, I was looking for vintage marks or older little, um, I think, oh, I'm trying to think of what it was called. I think it was marks something. I sold some that were vintage last year, and oh my goodness, they were a big money bolo, but they will be marked on the bottom, and those were not. This was kind of cute. Maybe I should have picked that up. All right, I did go back, and I grabbed these little lights. Um, they're meant to look like candles, and I bought four of those. There's this uh, box here of pencils and vintage items. Maybe I'll get it open. And this is what I've listed out of it, but that item right there already sold. So picked up this bottle for 50 cents. It's glass, it's vintage. Some of these old items like that can do pretty well. I did grab the little, um, it goes in a clock. It's a weight. So I did go ahead and grab that and 
Let's check out that garage sale so free fund. This was fund. at that store for free, so I thought we'd look through it. Um, this looks like it's some sort of hatchback, some sort of Mazda owner's manual, so that could be okay. Um, whoa, what is happening? What is this? Oh, that looks like somebody's uh, maybe pictures of the car. Huh, RX4. So basically it's a bunch of uh, car ephemera. Whoa. Not really my type of thing, but definitely, um, oh, a koala bear. How cute is that? I don't know what that's doing in there. Hmm. I don't know. What's this? I'd rather be driving my Mazda RX-7. Um, those I might try to sell. And then this other stuff, I don't know. I may do it as an auction on eBay. I might try it on whatnot, because look at that old Linda Vaughn, the first lady of racing. Somebody might want that. Action apparel, lots of vintage advert. Oh my goodness, check that out. Uh, Mazda merchandising. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So I may take some of this and try to list it. I don't know, just to try it. Some of it I don't like so, so much. There's another one. Oh, that's that one. It looks like it's the back of a, look at this. Oh, cool, it's so cool. probably should take the time to go through this but um, I'm just gonna do this for the video I may let my husband look at this stuff he really is uh, he likes old cars and stuff um, Mazda trucks I don't know I think he likes stuff that's older than the 80s but yeah it looks like somebody was collecting these to these are just the covers. Wow, bunch of bunch of cool car stuff. If somebody's looking, look at that. <gasps> For old advertising. Definitely pretty cool. Now this looks like it might actually start to be a manual or something. What's this? Racing Beat 2020. I don't know what this is. Mazda 929. What on earth? Look at that, that's cool. So you got Mazda 929, Mazda 323 trucks. Those look to be, um, this is stock for this one, Two, 626. There's another 1987 626 RX-7. I don't know, it's definitely interesting. Oh my gosh, look at that old um, uh, business card. These must have been like, maybe they gave them away at the dealerships. I don't know, but pretty interesting. I was not going to leave them in the free box. I know that. I might try to look these up. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it was the guy that worked there. Who knows? That one feels like it's got stuff in it. 
Maybe it's two. Yeah. Mazda RX-7. Somebody liked their Mazda. Got this one. Got this. This is just a single sheet. So the booklets that are kind of seem to be full, I put over there. All right, this one is... Looks like maps, two day cruises. So more ephemera. A lot of people do really good with this type of thing, especially if you can find stuff that people are um, interested in. Let's see, 1993, life lessons for kids. So, Things like this, you know, they're pretty easy to list. They're easy to ship. A lot of them are just bread and butter, but sometimes you get lucky and you find something that somebody's looking for. Calendar events, 1992, Mississippi. Monsters, Cumberland Science Museum. So U.S. Space and Rocket Center. So it looks like when they traveled or went places, they just kept all their uh, car collectors. Look at this Days in Daygram. I wonder what that is. Is that like a tip thing? Looks like we got some postcards here. The zoo, the Nashville Zoo, nonprofit. Railroad, Tennessee Railroad. I don't know. Railroad stuff usually does pretty good. Broadway, riverboat cruises. I don't know. All right. Okay, this is next. Let's get it out. Right. So this is probably this well I don't know you saw earlier all the stuff um, that looked like they had cut stuff out that maybe they were gonna scrapbook with so this may be um, what they were doing here is making scrapbooks so some old magazines Mazda owner um, dear Mazda husband <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> I can't read this to you guys, but it's hilarious. Um, oh my gosh, maybe I should read it. I'm going to leave the names out. I, it says, Dear Mazda Husband, I, blank, would like to invite you to have your body repaired at my facilities the next time it needs servicing. I'm an alternative to high street corner costs as well as VD repair costs, except I do not sacrifice on quality. My experience with you is unequaled. I have completed eight Masters and Johnson courses to date and have the sucker bites to prove it on file. Uh, 1977, I was awarded a wedding ring for being the nation's number one woman to you, of course. I service all of your needs, pistons, as well as your rotaries. So the next time you need a tune-up, just grab me. I'll fill, I'll fill all your needs. So that's from a wife to her husband, and he's a car guy. How funny is that? So this is his uh, scrapbook. Letter will be included. That's so funny. So it's just uh, something that somebody who loved Mazdas has put together. That is great. I just don't know how to sell this. I just don't know. I mean, there's actual like these open up and there's another one in here also. Let me grab it. Here's the next one. Let's see what's in this one. More just cutouts and stuff like this um, that they have put together in this book with the vintage advertisings. Pretty cool. It's kind of falling apart. Um, oh, I don't know what that car swells. 
Rotary Connection, the Mazda Repair Specialist. So this person, whoever it was, had a special interest in Mazdas. So that one says 1977. So I'm going to say most of this stuff is from the 70s to the 80s. Pretty interesting, right? Okay. Okay, so we've got refill scrapbook paper. Uh, one, two, kind of yucky, sticking together. Three, so there's five of those that came with it. And there's something else in here. Let's see what this is. Um, just Fredericks of Hollywood, 1998 calendar. That's random. Adam and Eve, seductively yours. Another retail calendar. Fredericks of Hollywood, 1997. So they have on the, the clothing. It's not like it's naughty. Engine Master, 1995 to 1996. Again, a little risque. And that's it.